Hi, I'm Lauren Welch, and today I want to show you the product visualization capabilities inside of Autodesk Showcase 2011. What you see on the screen here is uh, Parker Hannafin's Chelsea Products Catalog, and inside of that environment, I can pull the Showcase model out. This native inventor model can then be rotated to various predefined shots in my model, and now I can start doing some real-time visualization by uh, switching with alternate colors, uh, materials, positions, and I can quickly and easily add um, new alternatives into my lineup. So here I'm going to go ahead and go and choose a different color. And one of the things you'll notice that as soon as I select a new color or material, it is instantly applied in real time to my showcase model. So we can get this very powerful visualization very easily and very quickly. Once I've got the green selected, I can add that selection to my new material lineup and get a nice image um, for the material image. From here we can not only do various lineups for materials, so here we can switch through all the different colors that we have, but I can also do positional lineups to represent the model, in this case an exploded and collapsed state. And we can do a combination of any of these alternatives. Now one of the most cumbersome things to do in, a, in rendering your visualization software is to set shadows and lights. Well here inside of Showcase I simply tell Showcase what objects I want to cast shadows and then I can just drag on the screen in real time and move this shadow and have it in directly adjust the lighting for me in the scene. So a very quick and very direct way to manipulate the lighting and shadows in my environment. There's also a lot of other functionality from a visualization standpoint that we can do. So I can go back to another preset uh, snapshot or a home view and I can take a look at what this model would look like um, on a turntable, for example. So we have behaviors inside of Autodesk Showcase which allow us to apply turntables to our model so we can watch it rotate. And again, in real time, as it's rotating, I can change to these different material lineups to see how the lighting and the reflections work in these different positions as it's rotating on my turntable. Now we can also take a look at what would happen if we were to have multiple models in a scene. So in this case, I can duplicate the existing PTO assembly and just using some of my drag handles inside of Autodesk Showcase 2011, I'll uh, just position this in such a manner so I'll have two PTOs sitting next to each other. And again, you can see I can drag and rotate this model as I see fit. Again, as far as shadows are concerned, I would like this new or uh, second model to cast shadows as well. So I simply add it to the shadow casters inside of my scene. And then from here, we still have our model and material lineups where I can adjust and have multiple materials in multiple colors in the same scene at the same time. Now one of the last things that we're going to do is talk about really making this visualization pop. So, so far in real time we've been able to change our materials, our colors, and get very, very powerful imagery. Well now we can enable our ray tracing inside of Autodesk Showcase 2011, and you'll see as this develops how quickly the ray tracing comes through, but also how powerful this imagery is. So now that it's done, you'll see we have this really clean, crisp visualization.